My name is Amanda Harder. We're juniors at Waverly High School. And our poem is called Philosophy, Philosophy on Fleek. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but nowadays I can't tell if a girl is 18 or 13. Maybe it has something to do with the excess amount of makeup we wear now, or maybe it's the grinding, the twerking, or our lack of clothing. Or maybe it's a 200 second Snapchat story showing off how turnt everyone is getting every weekend. Or maybe it's the new lingo we use now. Like, like the overuse of the word like. Like, let me take a selfie. Like, selfie game strong. Like, hashtag basic. Like, like eyebrows like, on fleek. I don't even know what fleek means, but I'm pretty sure I'm the only one here whose eyebrows aren't on it. But then again, I don't think eyebrows can be considered on fleek if they're 97% drawn on. And if you're sitting there tweeting about how your eyebrows are on fleek, I'm just going to assume that your sense of self isn't. Why not future on fleek? Life on fleek. Education on fleek. Family on fleek. Health on fleek. These are the basics we need to focus on. See, we're too busy getting made up, dressed up, and fixed up, not worrying enough about what we want to be when we grow up. When did our social life turn into social media? When did we stop reading books and start reading tweets. When did we turn our number two pencils in for eyebrow pencils? And why are we just concealing our flaws instead of celebrating them? Yes, self-expression is important, but once your appearance becomes your identity, it becomes a problem. We have a problem. We need to find a solution to fix the problem, but we are a part of the problem. The first thing we do when we get up in the morning is check our phones to make sure we're still being paid attention to, to make sure people are still liking our selfies and reblogging our posts, we feed on this attention like we're hungry. Hungry for followers, hungry for upvotes, hungry for retweets. Craving that attention, we post another status, hoping to get more likes than the last time. The attention becomes an addiction, and the funny thing about addiction is that you need more and more of that stimulant each time to get the same high. We obsess over people giving us compliments, telling us what we already know. We need help. There are seven billion people in this world, and we need someone to convince us we're not the center of it? And why do we need people to constantly assure us that we look good? That we're on fleek. We already know we look good. Why do we need people we don't even know to verify it? Maybe we just need a break. A break from all the people, all the phones, all the notifications, and all of the labels. Maybe we just need to be ourselves because this isn't us.